and if black is given time he would go f5 king f6 e5 e4 king e5 f4 you know just roll the central pawns so gukesh says i need to create a passer here a4 fantastic move this is exactly what is needed to create a passer and until now both players have played excellently gukesh has held his own against the world number 1 magnus goes f5 you need to take on b5 and gukesh takes pawn takes and now comes the critical moment of the game the right move is c4 how does this work because he comes in with a check you bring your rook up the pawn ending is a drawn position this is a draw so black will most likely take this then you double your pawns he goes back you push the pawn rook comes here you push another pawn and it seems like this position should be lost for white because he has one pawn but black has two now the trick here is to maintain your white king in a way that it helps this pawn but also does not go all the way it rather stays in the vicinity of the black pawns as well like here king c4 and now you cannot really make progress because the king comes back and this pawn is going to keep the rook tied up in this way gukesh could have actually made a draw he should push his pawn up this is his only counter play right now in the position if he does not push it up then magnus is clearly better so gukesh has 13 minutes to sort of work this entire thing out but it's it's definitely clear that this move is not at all easy because you are going to give up a pawn there he goes rook a2 and this is not a good move now magnus can actually win the game with a very nice move king d6 rook a5 king c6 check king d5 rook b6 and then this is a winning winning end game for him but he goes rook g5 and magnus was very proud of this move after the game but gukesh in has a has a drawing line here rook a5 f4 and then king c2 coming in with the king to the center and this was a draw but gukesh gives a check this is the final mistake of the game and now magnus is in the driver seat there's no stopping his pawns because he's going to take on g2 and he's going to roll his central pawns down the board so this is game over rook goes back to a2 but this is not going to help gukesh at all this is passive when you have to come back and defend you know it that there is nothing left rook comes to c2 and magnus is completely in control now he plays rook g3 even stopping all counter play gukesh goes king e2 with some ideas of take b5 counter play but magnus even squashes that with his next move beautiful move king e5 because now if c4 takes b5 king comes defends it rook will come to b3 so he goes king b2 trying to uh, keep it cool now the king comes to d5 and the central pawn now plans to roll down so magnus is totally winning here check and king comes in with king to e4 yeah king e4 played and gukesh now has a very very difficult task to even find a good move he plays king b3 but the black pawns are rolling down now first time for the e pawn to step one for one step ahead yes e5 and magnus would even like to move his king away maybe king comes up he gives a check and the king moves back to f5 so e4 e3 is incoming then you go king e4 slowly push the pawn create a passer rook d2 and this is where magnus's calculation final calculation e4 he's ready to give up this b5 pawn because he realizes that these two pawns are going to do the job for him look at gukesh there he's quite upset with himself he he knew that he he has a draw somewhere but magnus viewed his end game magic so beautifully and so brutally that gukesh with all his talent and all his skills could do nothing to stop it that's what happens when you play this mozart of chess he often creates chances which his opponents no matter how skilled are able are not able to see and 
after rook takes b5 now the e pawn is rushing down the board e3 fantastic move later on the rook can take this and then you have two passers meanwhile white does have two passers but they are way away from the queening squares so it's not going to work rukesh uh, gukesh gives a check with his rook and now king f5 king comes up gukesh doesn't even have the time to push any of his pawns because e2 is straight away queen so he gives a check and magnus goes king e4 gukesh's idea is rook b8 so that if e2 he can give a check from behind but e anyway magnus can come down with his king he plays e2 and this is over rook e8 check king d3 uh, and there's nothing that can be done gukesh resigns 